This is video number two in which we're reading for understanding. And I'm not going to sit here and read this entire article to you. I will read a little bit in the next video because I want you to see how I talk to the text. But for this video, when I'm reading for understanding, I want to look in some key areas. So I'm looking for key points that the author is making. I'm looking for key arguments that the author is making. And some places that you can look, especially if it's an academic journal article, places you can look for that information. I always will read the abstract, which is a summary of what's included in the article. I will read that before I even decide if I'm going to print it out or select it, because that's what's going to let me know if, if this is going to be usable to me. I always read the introduction, because that gives me a good overview of the article, and uh, I can see some of the key points that the author is trying to make. In this particular article, they've done a review of selected literature. And so what that means is they've gone out there and they've looked at other research that's out there. And this can be really useful. It can be used as a jumping off point. But it also uh, can let you see what other types of sources are out there. And you can see uh, if there's areas of research that this person is covering that haven't been covered in the past, if they're filling in gaps. Literature reviews can be very helpful. I will always take a look at the data and methods section because this is going to tell me how they conducted their research. And in some cases, it might be quantitative where they've maybe surveyed people and they have um, some solid number evidence, or it might be qualitative where they have maybe interviewed people and they have narrative from students. This particular article has a combination of both, some quantitative information and some qualitative. They have quite an extensive finding section where they're telling you the, what they found. And so here I'm seeing lots of charts and graphs. Um, and right now I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of that. I think I would look more in, at that when I start annotating the text, my next pass through. I'm going to skip through to the section called discussion. And this is where they will often kind of lay out um, what they found in their research. It's done in more of a narrative fashion, so I don't have to try to decipher all their charts and graphs. They've given me an overview. Then I also always want to look at uh, the conclusions section. So this is where they come to some conclusions, and in this case they also include some best practices. So if I'm going to implement a chat service, I might take these best practices into consideration. They've already experienced this, and they've come up with a list of things that they've found work the best, and so that could be really useful for me. So I would want to go through that area as well. This would be my second pass through where I'm reading for understanding. And then my next pass through, that's video number three, that's when I'm actually going to start annotating, taking some notes, talking to the text, and that's coming up next.